Shakespeare Comes Alive at Goshen College's Adaptation of Julius Caesar. Assistant Professor of Theater Michelle Milne discusses the cultural relevance behind the play. So one of the things that I find intriguing about this play is how many different people are swayed to think different things really quickly. So they think that they think one thing and then suddenly they agree with someone else. And so they're easily persuaded, they're easily talked into something else. And I think that can be applied to how we think about our political candidates. It can also be about how we relate to people in our everyday life. The biggest changes in the adaptation were gender-swapped roles, the most noticeable being Caesar, played by Goshen senior Christina Hofer. I did not set out specifically to cast Caesar as a woman. Christina read the role of Caesar really well, and some of the other women fit those roles really well. And then we've also changed the role of Portia, who's usually a woman, to a man, Paul Zier. We changed that gender the other way because he read that role with some really nice insight into that role. If you do Shakespeare, um, often the women's roles aren't quite as interesting as the men's roles, and I wanted to make sure our female actors here had a chance to also do strong roles, um, not based on gender, but based on energy that they were bringing or... Um, insights that they were bringing or different things like that. We didn't do it to make some sort of political statement and it's more about um, gender is one lens through which we can see a person. We are seeing people on the stage, we're seeing different stories. Changing the gender might change how we see the story but it's still a very complex person and a complex story. In the spirit of traditional Shakespearean plays, theater students transformed Goshen College's Umbel Center into a theater in the round where the audience is seated on all sides of the stage, providing an interactive experience with the actors. We actually chose the in the round setup before we knew what the play was going to be. And part of that was an educational choice. It's a really interesting thing to try to figure out how to perform and design in a space where people will see all the way around. So right now I'm facing you, but there might be people behind me. So how would I also include them? is a different skill to learn and it's a really important skill for our theater majors and, and all of our actors and designers to learn how to do. So the students are really enthusiastic and passionate and creative and generous and also working really, really hard. It inspires me and it gives me energy. I'm Mason Mellinger reporting at the Humble Center for The Correspondent.